We've simplified the DENS Element Barrier System installation process even further with the addition of our new Densify Transition Membrane. Densify Transition Membrane is a self-adhered membrane comprised of a butyl-based adhesive with a HDPP facer that is primarily used as a transitioning accessory for drifter control joints, vertical expansion joints, rough opening protection, material transitions, and gaps greater than one inch. This includes transitions to distinct materials, such as prepared concrete and concrete masonry. It's available in 6-inch, 9-inch, and 12-inch widths for wall assemblies above grade. In this video, learn how to install the Densify Transition Membrane. Before starting any construction project, keep safety top of mind. Always wear your personal protective equipment, or PPE, to prevent any on-site hazards. To get started, you'll need the following tools to complete this installation. Densify Transition Membrane, a razor knife or sharp scissors, a J-roller, protective gloves, and safety glasses. Before applying the Densify Transition Membrane to the wall, make sure the substrate is dry and free from frost or bond inhibiting materials. To install the membrane, first, measure the length needed to completely protect each area, including additional material required for overlapping. Mark links on Densify Transition Membrane and cut the membrane using a razor knife or sharp scissors. To make a transition at the base of the wall, first, choose the appropriate width of Densify Transition Membrane so that a minimum of two inches is applied to each surface. Remove the release paper and place the membrane over the transition area. Use a J-roller to apply pressure evenly over the installed Densify Transition Membrane. Seal all membrane edges with Densify liquid flashing, ensuring a minimum one inch overlap onto each surface. Check flashing thickness using a wet mill gauge to ensure a minimum thickness of 16 wet mills is achieved. For conditions where the sheathed wall is inset or outset from the foundation, follow the same application methods. When terminating to a parapet before blocking is in place, choose the appropriate width of Densify Transition Membrane to ensure a minimum of 2 inches onto each surface. Remove the release paper and place the membrane over the transition area, avoiding wrinkles and fish mouths. Use a J-roller to apply even pressure to fully adhere the membrane and achieve a smooth and wrinkle-free surface. Apply Densify liquid flashing over all edges of Densify transition membrane and check flashing thickness using a wet mill gauge to ensure minimum thickness of 16 wet mills is achieved. If the wood blocking is already in place, the transition membrane should be applied to extend onto the wood blocking to the face of the sheathing. Choose the appropriate width so that the connection is made to the roofing membrane to maintain continuity. Treatment of the parapet may vary depending on project sequence and project-specific details. For a window sill application, as a best practice, apply a bead of liquid flashing at framing seams in corners of rough opening and allow it to cure. Place a bow tie reinforcement piece at seams and corners. Apply pre-cut links to the sill, covering a minimum of 2 inches of the sheathing adjacent to the opening and wrap a minimum of four inches up the rough opening jams. Apply pre-cut links along the rough opening jams and overlap in a shingle lap fashion, a minimum two inches onto the sill protection. Use a J-roller to apply even pressure to fully adhere the membrane and achieve a smooth and wrinkle-free surface. Apply Densify liquid flashing over all edges of the Densify transition membrane. With a straight edge tool, spread Densify liquid flashing evenly over the membrane edge. Cover a minimum of one inch over the edge of the membrane and one inch over the adjacent material. Apply at a rate to achieve a minimum 16 wet mill thickness over the membrane edge, leaving no exposed membrane edge. Complete the remaining rough opening application with Densify liquid flashing. When using Densify Transition Membrane for the entire rough opening application, apply bow tie reinforcement pieces of Densify Transition Membrane at rough opening corners. Apply pre-cut links to the sill, 
covering a minimum of 2 inches of the sheathing adjacent to the opening, and wrap a minimum of 4 inches up the rough opening jams. Apply pre-cut lengths along rough opening jams, and along rough opening header and overlap, in a shingle lap fashion, a minimum 2 inches onto the jam protection. Use a J-roller to apply even pressure to fully adhere the membrane and achieve a smooth and wrinkle-free surface. Apply Densify liquid flashing over all edges of Densify transition membrane. With a straight edge tool, spread Densify liquid flashing evenly over the membrane edge. Cover a minimum of 1 inch over the edge of the membrane and 1 inch over the adjacent material. Apply at a rate to achieve a minimum 16 wet mill thickness over the membrane edge leaving no exposed membrane edge. For rough openings that incorporate a wood buck, follow the same application methods and sequence. Now, let's take a look at the horizontal control joint. For a horizontal control joint, place pre-cut links over the center of the transition area, looping the membrane into the joint, with a minimum 2-inch overlap on both sides of the joint. Seal all membrane edges with Densify liquid flashing, ensuring a minimum 1 inch flashing overlap onto each surface. Check the flashing thickness using a wet mill gauge to ensure a minimum thickness of 16 wet mills is achieved. We talked about horizontal control joints, but what about vertical expansion joints? For a vertical expansion joint, place pre cut links over the center of the transition area. Remove the release paper from half of the membrane and adhere to one side of the joint. Then loop the membrane into the gap to provide slack. Adhere the remaining membrane to the other side of the joint, ensuring a minimum 2 inch overlap on both sides of the joint. Use a J roller to apply even pressure to fully adhere the membrane and achieve a smooth and wrinkle free surface. Seal all membrane edges with Densify liquid flashing, ensuring a minimum 1 inch flashing overlap onto each surface. Check the flashing thickness using a wet mill gauge to ensure a minimum thickness of 16 wet mills is achieved. For more information on Densify Transition Membrane, please visit Densify.com.